Hey, Lee Price here. Today I want to show you how to throw a switch lead leg kick and also one simple way that you can disguise it so you can hide the switch a little bit when you're sparring and you can catch people off guard. Switch kicking is useful because lead leg kicks don't always have as much power as the rear leg. They don't have as much time to build up momentum, you just simply not got the same leverage. So what I want to do, I want to switch and kick with the lead leg to confuse my opponent, to catch them off guard, or even time them as they attack, as they come in towards me, I can switch and attack while the body's exposed. So first of all, look at the position. If I just step up and throw a lead leg kick here, okay, I can throw it nice and fast, it's great for finding the range, I can lead and enter for combinations, but really it's not as powerful as throwing it all the way from the back. So what I'm going to do is load up my hips, but I don't want to give it away too easily. I don't want to be here ready to fight and do a big switch, it's too obvious. So what you're going to do is keep your upper body stable, keep it in the same position, and just switch your feet here. This way. So I cross my legs here to load my hips. Now pay attention, make sure you don't cross your legs in such a way that you're going to just be knocked straight off balance. You've got to switch and as soon as that front leg hits the ground here, you're going to bring it straight up and bring your round ass kick through the side, striking with the shin, okay? So this position, I switch and bring the kick straight through, okay? In reality, don't leave it out there, bring it straight back. So you switch in, okay? After you practice it, you get a little bit more skillful. You can gain ground, you can move forward as you do it. I don't have to remain on the spot here like this. I don't have to kick here, I can advance. So when I switch, I move forward. Okay, nice way to gain ground. Practice it first of all in the air. Get used to the balance. Use a mirror, okay? Like here, when I'm training, I want to watch my technique. I want to be very critical. I want to make sure that as I pull my arm down, as I kick here, if I do this, I don't land forwards exposed. Okay? As I kick, one, guard is straight back. This is just stopping me overbalancing, okay? I don't want to kick all the way through. I want to be stable. I want to be here. Straight back. Throw it like this, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to throw it on the back. We're going to lead with a jab. This is what's going to bring the opponent's guard up and it's going to disguise the foot switch. So I'll be here, I'll lead with the jab. One, pop. As I jab, there's the switch. Okay? As you jab, there's the switch. Loading the hips up, okay? So I'll throw one, pop, pop. Kick immediately after it, okay? Let's see how it looks on the heavy bag, okay? The next stage after working the kick in fresh air and getting a feel for the balance, using the mirror to make sure you're bringing that guard back up and defending, is to move on to the bag. You can stand the lighter bags, but personally, I prefer the heavy bag, there's a lot more resistance. This one here weighs about 30 stone. So you know if you're moving it, you're hitting hard or you're at least conditioning yourself, okay? I'm gonna start initially with the jab, like I just showed you in the air. You're gonna jab and switch at the same time. Load your hips, land the kick, and you're gonna land forwards, okay? So you're almost gonna come around your opponent. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, I hope you like the demonstration. Let me know what you think of the video. I really appreciate your feedback. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. It just helps raise my ratings a little bit. It gets my videos out to more people. And if you really, really like it, subscribe and please share my video if you're on martial arts forums or, you know, even on Facebook. Cheers.